the Bible scholars and some theologians have identified different types of Christian faith. Among them are what we know as doctrinal faith. It is kind of faith a person has based on the word of God and the teachings of the Bible. And other types of faith also known as saving faith that results from believing and confessing that Jesus died and that God raised him from the dead. And there is also we know the other types of faith it's known as justifying faith and daily um, faith. Jesus, dear brothers and sisters, however, in the gospel today, talks about a specific kind of faith. He challenged 5,000 people search for him after he, added, after he fulfilled their hunger. Jesus contested their faith. Jesus questioned their motivation for searching for him because they only search for God or for Jesus to satisfy their physical needs. As we heard, we read in the gospel, Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs but because you ate loaves and were filled. Jesus challenged them, dear brothers and sisters, what kind of faith do you people have? Are you only believing in me because I have satisfied your physical, physical needs? Certainly, Jesus also challenged each one of us today. The same question can be addressed to each one of us. What is your motivation for searching for Jesus, for God? In a deeper way, we might like also to ask ourselves, what types of faithful are you? Are you someone who prays to God only when you need divine protection? When you need good health, when you need success in your career, in your business, or in your studies, or peace in the family life, or loving relationship with your loved ones, and many more questions that we can add and list. Are you the types of believer who only comes to God when things are not going well, or when you are anxious or depressed? In the light of the gospel today, my brothers and sisters, what kind of faith do we need to respond? Jesus' challenge to those 5,000 people. We need to go beyond this faith. We should not search for or believe in God because we, we are in trouble or in difficulty. That would be very shallow faith. We need to be someone who always in communion with God and believes He is always with us at all times. Like Stephen in the first reading today, filled by the Spirit. And this is the kind of faith that we need to embrace to have in our lives. This is an unveiling faith person who believes that God is with you even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of the death. And this is certainly the kind of faith of resurrected people, the Christians who just celebrate resurrection.